Like, we needed another reason to fucking hate people. So today I'm talking about Speak No Evil. This is a Shudder exclusive or original, I'm not exactly sure. And this movie is agonizing. And when I say that, I don't mean that it's a bad movie. It masterfully does exactly what it's setting out to do. But what it sets out to do is piss you off, ruin your night, and make you angry. Th this movie is horrific. It pretty much finds every possible way that it can make you uncomfortable, angry, and just want you to yell at the screen and tell them to stop. Tell them to stop doing this, stop accepting it. It's frustrating. But again with that, it's just... It is a really good movie, and it does exactly what it, it sets out to do. And it's just, you know, it, it leaves you with a little bit of a conflicting feeling because on one hand, you kind of didn't enjoy it, and you felt like it's a little harrowing to watch it. It's not a fun movie. It's not a very enjoyable movie, but it's very good. It's masterfully directed and acted, and the storytelling is crazy good. On the other end though, and it's even difficult to judge this, but the fact that you kind of have to accept the premise of this and what it's going for, it kind of means that they need to turn the main character into a little bitch. And I'm not gonna lie, I fucking hate Bjorn, the main character. He is so frustrating to watch because I just hate how much he tolerates, and I know that that's the point, but he just stays polite through the most ridiculous things where any normal person should be out of there, million miles away. And the thing though is, that's the point. That's why the things happen to them that happen to them because they let it happen. And it's dangerous. It, it's very dangerous to be, to be passive to accept things, to allow people to walk all over you, and uh, just in the face of being polite, a lot of terrible things happen. And um, I, I think it's a very prevalent issue, and it's interesting. I like horror movies with a little bit of social commentary, and I think that there really is a lot to say about how much we're willing to accept and tolerate so that we can be perceived as being polite or nice, how much we'll allow to happen, how much atrocities or bad things we're willing to accept just so that we're the nice guy. Guy because we don't want to cause problems or you know we want to avoid confrontation and the characters of Patrick and Karen are just they're frightening they push so many boundaries they just do so many unacceptable things and the frustrating part too is that Jorn and Luis let them just gaslight the shit out of them into thinking any of this is normal it's not normal it's ridiculous but again, it's, it's, you know, that's what I love so much about this. It is the fact that it really exposes the danger of tolerating things because you don't want to be perceived as impolite or rude. And some of that means ignoring basic objective truth, which is extremely dangerous. Again, that's something that we see a lot today. So the commentary on that, I think, was very subtle, but at the same time, very masterfully told. It was very good. But just like, God damn it, Jorn, like, Fucking A, man. Like, stand up for your family. Like, don't be a fucking bitch. Ugh. It just, it was so frustrating to just watch this guy just tolerate such shit and let his family go through things that he should not have accepted. It's ridiculous. But again, it's part of the package. It's what it's telling. It's the story that it's trying to tell. The whole point of it is just pushing these boundaries and pushing this insanely to the edge of any kind of sanity because there's no way that most people would accept the things that these people do but again there are a lot of people that on a lesser level will tolerate a lot of bullshit because they want to stay polite so it achieves its job with flying colors but this isn't a movie that i'm gonna gravitate towards re-watching you know it's a little bit of um it's a little bit of a difficult watch at times and it's also too it's just it's nails on a chalkboard with all these social cues that just get violated. And the way that this guy just sits back and lets it happen, I absolutely hate it. And there's a lot to say about humanity with that. A lot about the extent that we will go to, to the brink of ridiculousness and insanity. Just so that we can keep up some facade that there's some politeness or niceness or whatever. It's fucking insane. It's a batshit movie, but it's really good. It kind of depends on your taste, because I wouldn't recommend this movie to everybody, but it is very good. I'd say one of the best of the year. I highly recommend it for people that are willing to put themselves through this experience. 
But um, again, it's just, it's not a very comfortable watch. And there are a lot of things that are just going to make you on a social level just cringe. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be doing a ranking of Jeepers Creepers soon, so stay posted for that. Uh, that one's been a long time coming, so I'll see you next time.